Now, who's got an entire hour to waste on games? <laughs> Not me. I only give them a first 50. Yes, strap on the stilettos and kick on the makeup. Our favorite plumber is whoring himself around the diamond oh, this week in Super ever. Mario Baseball. There it is. Uh, now, first of all, the intro movie is fantastic. Oh, it's beautiful, man. It's, it's nice to see that they, they can't do in-game uh, CGs anymore. Uh, cinemas over at Nintendo. Yeah, but FMV making a comeback. It's, it's actually, no, I really like the intro movie. The thing that's the funny, though, is, is the song itself. Where they're they're chanting "Let's play the baseball game." Those those are the entire lyrics to the song. That's it. There's no reason to hand that over to the localization team because it's already in English. None necessary. It appeals to me as an American. See, so already the game is is in your favor, right? You're already psyched to play it. You want to play the baseball game, right? <laughs> I do. Let's so they, play the baseball game. They dug. I mean, in order to make full teams, they kind of had to dig deep into the old Mario bag to pull out some characters, which is a little disappointing. But kind of exciting to play as Donkey Kong. Not as exciting to play as a Goomba. Exactly. Although although he is a power hitter, which is, is odd. Uh, it's a baseball game, and the thing is, there's not a lot of depth, uh, unfortunately. Uh, the one thing that is very involved is the team selection. Uh, people are you know listed by their speed, technique, their power, or if they're all around balanced. And then once you select your team, you have to actually assign them field positions and hope that the characters have good chemistry with each other. Yeah, you want them to get along. Exactly. And, and, and like, if you have a bad chemistry team, like they will be more apt to drop the ball or not make good plays. Not, not the most compelling aspect of the game at all. But there you go. The game itself is very simple. I know we played it for a, a good half an hour or so today yeah. together doing a little multiplayer action. Very simple. Not a lot of depth at all. I mean, you could say that you're picking a technique character. Sure. But the difference between a technique character and, like... A non-technique character? Yeah, it's essentially... I wasn't really seeing it. Well, you know, when you, when you have a single large A button that does pretty much everything, there's not a whole lot of room for technique, so that's that's the problem. Uh, the, the pitching, the hitting, all very simple. You have star chances, uh, which are chances for, like, like really cool plays or special hits. Uh, but, you know, to stretch the value, because I know under, you might be a little underwhelmed by this point, they've added some mini-games. Oh, excellent. Yeah! Yeah! Let's see what they shoehorned in today. Oh, how about Bomb Bomb Derby or oh, Chain, Chain Chomp. Chomp? Yeah, so this well, this is actually a different version of the baseball game where you hit, and depending upon where it lands, like a roulette wheel will pop up and give you coins yeah. or basically give you a... Super Monkey Ball, but Nintendo's version, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. But the, the mini games themselves. To me, it felt like Mario Party. It felt like Mario Party with, with, with cleats. Yeah, there was a lot of baseball tacked on, not a lot of baseball going on. No. Like the, in the chain chomp where you have to run around in the you have to run around in the baseball diamond and stop to be safe. Right. You'd think you'd have to stop on a base. It's baseball. No, not at all. Well, this this clearly has a lot of baseball going on where you throw the colored egg at the, the plant that matches its color. Yeah. I've, I've been to many an Oakland A's game in my time. I think and that was the Easter you. edition, yeah. Yeah, barrel bat. You know, I think I think we've seen enough that's of the, the superstar that. baseball. Here's the thing, though, that that it was still compelling to an extent, and and I have to say that you know, we, given the current GameCube lineup and whatnot, maybe the, the the superstar baseball would be a buy it. You, on the other hand, even being a GameCube fan, disagree. I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I like everything Mario, but this just feels like the Mario personality tacked onto nothing mm -hmm. game. Even though there's not a lot going on in the GameCube right now, I would recommend just trying this one. Don't fork out your cash. Give it a try. Mario spreads wider.